low carb and guilt free fries, but just as enjoyable. Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam's Home Kitchen, where I bring to you budget friendly recipes with sustainability in mind. This week's recipe is based off a request for making zucchini fries. So there's this burger chain called Grilled in Australia and their tagline is they make healthy burgers. So whatever that means. But one of the crowd favorites apparently is zucchini fries. Sister-in-law was visiting and she was bragging about it and got us to taste it. It's pretty good. So she gave me that challenge that if I can turn zucchinis into those delicious zucchini chips, I can potentially save her hundreds of dollars. Enough said and let's get cooking. So starting off, we've got our zucchinis. These are absolutely in season. Just check out the size of it. It's huge, it's cheap, and these are going to be meaty and gonna be really substantial to make our zucchini chips or zucchini fries. So to prep our zucchini, just gently cut off the tip of it. This part is a little bit tougher, so we don't want to eat that. And just an end bit as well. That's all we're going to cut off. We trim off the 1% of it and absolutely everything here is edible. Next step, cut the zucchini right down the middle in half so the length is easier to handle. Take one half of it and we cut along the long side into about one centimeter slices. This will determine the thickness of the fries. I like to have the zucchini chips quite chunky to give it a meatier texture. Next, Cut the zucchini into one centimeter by one centimeter strips into the shape of, you know, fries. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. Just make sure that we are consistent with the thickness to ensure even cookness. Zucchinis are in season in Australia right now. It's such an amazing vegetable that makes great vegetable based dishes, but also can act as a substitution of meat in dishes like spaghetti bowl, one of my favorites. So we've got two zucchinis cut up here. Just looking at the quantity here, this is gonna be at least a good three to four serving sizes of what's being sold at grilled. With our cut up zucchini, to infuse some flavor and seasoning in, we do a 3% brine. Zucchini in a bowl, and we add enough water to cover all of our zucchini. Add in 3% weight of water in salt and give it a good mix until salt is all dissolved. Let the zucchini brine for at least 20 minutes. We're going to get our dredging station ready. We want two plates and a bowl for our breading station, two plates for flour and breadcrumbs, and a bowl for our wet agent. First plate, we want some good old plain flour. Break up any clumps in the flour if any is present. Second station, egg wash. Add in an egg. Make sure to add the eggshell to compost if possible. Little things, little actions, they all count. To bulk up the egg wash, I added a little bit of milk. The wet agent can be entirely replaced with plant-based milk to make the recipe vegan. Break up the egg and whisk until homogenized. Last station, bread station. I recommend panko breadcrumb for that extra crunchiness. So with our flour here, we we'll also want to make sure that we season it. We'll season the chips at the end, but this is a good opportunity to get some flavor into the coating as well. So now the zucchini is all cut up, our breading station's all ready to go. All there is to do is pass our zucchini down the production line and our delicious zucchini fries are not far off. Start with the coat of flour, roll the zucchini fries through the flour and shake off any excess. Step two, egg wash. Make sure our chips are coated thoroughly and evenly. Lastly, breadcrumbs. Thanks to the egg wash, breadcrumbs should cling onto the chips nice and tight. This dry, wet and dry process ensures the breading hold on as tight as possible to our zucchini fries. I mean, last thing we want is going through all this effort just for the crumbs to fall off at the end. We'd be left with just sat and soggy chips. No one wants that. Lay the breaded chips on a wire rack if you have one. This way, we can maximize airflow in the oven while baking. So we're going to pop these in a preheated oven at 220 degrees Celsius on fan force. Into the oven, rice smack bang down in the middle to get even heat from top 
and bottom. Let cook until the breadcrumbs turn golden brown, about 20 to 30 minutes. While the zucchini is baking in the oven, I want to take the time and thank today's sponsor. Absolutely no one, that is right. My channel is all about encouraging you guys to cook at home and try to save every single penny where we can. It makes it very hard for any brand to want to come in and be like, oh, I'm going to sponsor Sam because he is absolutely not going to promote his viewers to spend money. So every single like, every single comment, every single engagement that you can have with my channel really helps me out tremendously. And maybe one day someone will, maybe, maybe, I don't know, someone will actually see the value of the channel and I'll have some collaboration that will actually bring really down. That's, that's enough bullshit from me. Well, we're waiting for the zucchini chips. We're gonna make a quick mayo. Super simple. So mayonnaise really is a emulsion of egg and fat. And the seasoning, the vinegar, the acid, the salt that we add to it, really just the seasoning. So we've got an egg in here, immersion blender in, throwing a bit of a salt to season. Salt in, yeah. a couple of spoons of sugar to balance the flavor. Vinegar to cut through the richness and start blending with one hand with oil added from the other. Keep blitzing until we get a thick consistency. Egg to oil ratio is about one to four, one to five. Once it's thicken up like this, two seconds and we got our mayo done. For a lazy but delicious dipping sauce, add in three parts mayo and one part sriracha. Some smoked paprika for depth of flavor. Give it a quick mix and that is all done. It's so simple. So about 25 minutes, my chips are golden brown and ready to come out of the oven. Don't they look amazing? The breading appeared to be a little uneven because I raw docked it in the oven without any oil on the surface. You can absolutely spray a good coat of oil on the chip surface to encourage more even browning. But in my honest opinion, it's purely cosmetic and can be skipped for simplicity's sake. Sprinkle of salt to season. The cost breakdown is right on the screen here. One very generous serving of our zucchini chips and sauce only costed us $1.14.8 to make. One set for zucchini chips goes for $9 at grilled. All right, and there we have it. Our zucchini chips are all done right here. My mouth is watering, going to dive in and just let you know how it tastes like. We talk about the chips first. The panko breadcrumb gives our chips so much texture. Every single bite, every single crunch makes it really, really nice. And our zucchini being brined, it's got flavor right to the core of the chips. Zucchini itself doesn't have much flavor, but with the brining, with the pre-seasoning, that does it wonder. Sriracha mayo can never go wrong. Gives it a good bite, gives it a good kick, and the addition of our smoked paprika give it additional depth. This right here, a really good substitute of our carb-based chips without sacrificing the crunch. And when zucchini is in season, 69 cents per zucchini, it's a no-brainer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. I have one of these budget cooking and also sustainable recipe coming out every two weeks. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.